punks are running wild in the street, and there's nobody anywhere who seems to know what to do, and there's no end to it. And we sit watching our TVs while some local newscaster tells us that today we had 15 homicides and 63 violent crimes, as if that's the way it's supposed to be. We know things are bad, worse than bad. They're crazy. It's like everything everywhere is going crazy, so we don't go out anymore. We sit in the house, and slowly the world we're living in is getting smaller, and all we say is, please, at least leave us alone in our living rooms. Let me have my toaster and my TV and my steel belt and radios, and I won't say anything. Just leave us alone. Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. I want you to get mad. All I know is that first, you've got to get mad. You've got to say, I'm a human being. God damn it. My life has value. So. I want you to get up now. I want all of you to get up out of your chairs. I want you to get up right now and go to the window, open it, and stick your head out and yell, I'm as mad as hell, and I'm not going to take this anymore! All right, guys, so if you're wondering what happened to my editorial this morning, uh, YouTube took it down. They said, no, 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 you can't have a girl getting shot with pepper balls and beat with batons by the police. And I'm not criticizing YouTube. I'm just saying that's the reason they took it down. They said, no, no, dude, it's kind of graphic. All right. This bus only has forward. This bus does not have a reverse. So we continue moving forward. Um, I wanted to throw my two cents in on George Floyd. Now, I keep seeing on Facebook and Twitter and Google and other social media and mainstream media news and where people are saying that George Floyd was a criminal. We shouldn't glorify him. We should. He is not to be a hero. He's, you know, he was did this and he did a home invasion. And here people are putting him on a pedestal and they're saying, I will not honor George Floyd. And that's what people are saying. And I wanted to throw my two cents in and let you all comment in the comment section below. So I looked it up and I read through George Floyd's life. I can't remember everything. You know, once I don't take Jinko Biloba, and so once you cross that 50-year mark, your brain, just your memory's shut. But I did read it a few minutes ago. I was reading through his life. And in his 20s and 30s, he got involved in drugs. He got involved in crime. In fact, I believe they were saying that he was trying to pass a uh, counterfeit $20 bill, that it was bad money. Bad money, okay, that's... But also, it was reported that he did a home invasion in 2007. He was convicted. He did five years for that crime. And people were saying, see, he has victims. I'm sure those victims don't like George Floyd. I'm sure they don't. But, you know, we're not saying George Floyd wasn't the savior. You know, George Floyd wasn't Christ, so to speak. George Floyd was a man who had flaws, who got caught up in crime, who got caught up in addictions. And in doing that, somewhere along the line, he committed a home invasion in 2007, or at least he was convicted of that, and he did five years. He was passing bad money, they said. That was what was alleged. Okay, so George Floyd was a man with flaws who committed crimes. I get that. But we are supposed to be a civilized society. We're supposed to be. We're really not. But we're supposed to be. America is supposed to be a civilized society founded on the U.S. Constitution. Founded on laws and civil rights. And so just because George Floyd, he did his time for the home invasion. He did five years. He, um, but I mean, so are we going to um, say that because George had flaws and George was a criminal that he deserved to die? Well, you know what? Hey, forget the guy. He's, you know, he was a criminal. That He made people victimized. He should be victimized. That's not what America is about. I know the Bible says eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, life for a life. But no. That's not what we're about here in the United States. We're about civil rights. We're about the Constitution. We're about all men are created equally. 
And what I'm getting at is these protests that are going on, they're not about how George Floyd was a savior, George Floyd's a hero, George Floyd... George Floyd was a man with flaws who a police officer in uniform with three fellow police officers around him took his knee and placed it on the man's neck for eight minutes and 40, I think, seven seconds. While the man said, officer, I can't breathe. Officer, please, I need water. I need water. Please, officer, please, please, I can't breathe. Oh, my body hurts. Officer, I need water. I can't breathe. And the officer sat like this with this look on his face. And then pulled his taser out when people were going to help that man. While three fellow officers stood around going, just doing our job. We're just doing our job. Yeah, the Nazis were just doing their job. Or at least that's what they said. We're just following orders. So this isn't about how George Floyd was a hero or George Floyd's a savior. George Floyd was a man with flaws, but he did not deserve for a police officer with three other officers around him to hold his knee on that man's neck for Eight minutes and 40 something seconds while the man begged and pleaded for water, for air and saying his body hurt. A police officer, he should have said, okay, okay, well, we're going to pull you over here then. Give him some, can we get a bottle of water? That's what he should have done. I know that I posted a video earlier of Donald Trump uh, saying to a group of law enforcement officers, don't be nice. Bang their head. Yeah. No, that's not what police officers are about. You're not a judge. You're not an executioner. You're a police officer. You're a law enforcement officer to protect and serve. Your job is to exact the arrest, put them in the car, take them to jail, fingerprint and booking. Let the DA press charge or bring the charges. Let them go before their arraignment, have a pretrial That's your job, not to kill them, not to beat them down because, oh, you beat that guy? Watch, I'm going to beat you. That's not what it's about. So all of these people saying, well, George Floyd was this, and he was a criminal, and he did a home invasion, and here we are worshiping George Floyd. We're not worshiping George Floyd. We are protesting the system. That has let us down, allowing officers to brutalize, commit injustices, commit bullying, commit intimidation, commit assaults, commit batteries, commit civil rights violations, all under the color of law and say, I'm just doing my job. They get suspended while an investigation happens. You or I do it. There's no investigation. We're arrested. We're taken to jail, fingerprint, booking, and we have an arraignment. A cop does it. Well, let's investigate and see if it was in the line of duty or not. Knowing flat out well that some of those instances that are caught on video are flat out not in the line of duty. No freaking way. And I'm afraid to do the Buffalo, New York story because now YouTube might take it down if it's graphic. But Buffalo, New York, two cops already suspended without pay pending the investigation. They pushed the old man down. He hits his head and he starts bleeding out his ears. Did they bring charges on the officers? Well, no, we have to investigate, see if we're going to fire them or not. <laughs> what? You or I do it. We're arrested, handcuffed, going to jail, assault and battery so this thing about george floyd is this or that or why are we worshiping george floyd we're not we are protesting the death or the killing of a man who had flaws by a system that was supposed to protect him oh i get that he's a criminal i get that he did a home invasion and did time for it i get that he was trying to still do crime and pass bad money and all of that i get all of that he wasn't a perfect man but the police are not paid to execute criminals just so they can say to the victims we got him for you 
This is America. And this is Community Leo Watch, watching Leos. That's law enforcement officers from coast to coast. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, gang. Thank you very much.